Gabriel, what have you done? screamed Topaz. She wrapped her arms around herself, trying to stop her body from shaking. He's trying to get us now, for sure. Gabriel, you're nuts, howled Pansy, jumping away from the bench. Why did you do that? I let the metal spike, the clam and the cluster of the wires fall to the floor. Do you want Gopas vampire army destroying our world? I asked my friends. But, but, Corpus a uh, Malbirdy vampire, argued Pansy, her eyes wide with fear. I would not trust him as far as I could throw him. I replied quietly. Sometimes, Pansy, you have to go with your instincts. I watched as Corpo rose on the bench, his long bony fingers slashing his chest where once the spike had been. He took a deep breath, his cruel face turned in my direction. You do not fear me, boy, he, uh, he said. He asked, the red light falling on his blood-tipped fangs. You do not think I will attack you? No, I don't. You want your freedom. You want to escape from Professor Gropa. So do we. That is why I help you. The vampire's tongue licked its blood-tipped fangs. Can I trust you? I felt a spasm of fear erupt in my stomach. Doubt shadowed my mind. I shuddered. Now that I'd released the vampire, I had no choice but to trust him. If I judged him wrongly, my friends and I were in mortal danger. That's not the question, I countered. Can we trust you? Kapu's hand stretched out and gripped my shoulder. I swear on my own blood. I heard a key in the lock. The heavy iron door began to open.